This is the Google VR and Gear VR camera setup tool. And what it lets you do is easily switch your build target between Gear VR and Google Cardboard or the Google VR SDK. Now, if you're developing with Unity 5.6 or one of the Daydream technical preview versions, this is not for you uh, because it's already really easy to switch between Daydream Cardboard or Gear VR through the uh, supported platforms here. This tool is for Unity 5.5 and below. When the Google VR is uh, not supported, so you select virtual reality supported for the Gear VR and you turn that off when you're doing your, your Google Cardboard builds. Let me show you how it works real quick. We're going to take a look at the demo scene and the demo scene really is just an example of how some of uh, the multi-scene setup and more um, difficult things work but real quick I can just load up level one and level one from here I can go back into the other scenes the main menu or level two and here I am in level two back to the main menu now you can see here I have the split screen is for Google Cardboard and if I say build VR build settings I select build gear VR then it's set up for uh, gear VR and when I click play you'll notice that it's a full screen camera and the virtual reality option is selected in the player settings with the oculus set so really all you do is you set VR build settings build gear VR now it's ready to build and run for gear VR and you can say VR build settings build Google VR and now it's ready to build and run for Google VR and it has of course the uh, Google VR split screen. Alright let's take a look at uh, how to set this up in your project. So here we are at a brand new Unity project. Now I'm using Unity 5.51 and we'll look at both Google VR 1.03 and 1.20 so I'm gonna go ahead and import this asset and I'm just gonna go ahead and import everything here now that we've got that done it says please import the Google VR SDK because it sees that there's no Google VR SDK so I'm gonna go ahead and import Google VR SDK 1.03 and here's the unity package so I'm just gonna deselect the iOS and the 32-bit plugin folder because I know I'm not going to be building for those two targets. Now because I'm in Unity 551, it's going to uh, tell me that the scripts need to be updated, so I'm going to click OK. When it gets done with that, Google VR is going to say that additional libraries are required. Since we're not using a native uh, version of the GVR with Unity, so I'm going to import that and then click again so that this window comes back and I'm going to import all those plugin files. Now that the Google VR SDK 1.03 is imported, it's given me a warning that the build target is not Android. I'm going to switch the uh, build target over to Android. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go to the player settings and set the default orientation to landscape left. I'm going to turn off the 32-bit display buffer and that's just for, for performance. And then the other settings, I'm going to need to set a unique bundle identifier and we'll put the API level to API level 19. We only need to build for ARM processors and it's not a Android TV. Now, because I'm using Google VR 1.03, I need to use the, I need to go to the Google VR and Gear VR folder in the demo GVR 103. And the main menu needs to be uh, build index zero. And then after that level one and two can be one and two. So now that I have the 103 because I'm using Google VR 103 scenes into the build order 
let's see what else we need to do to, to set this up. As always, looking at the documentation helps. So here we are at the prerequisites prerequis and uh, we have Google VR 1.03 and we're using Unity 551. So we're starting with a new project. We've already imported the asset. We've already imported Google VR. We need to add the Google VR viewer main prefab to the scene. So that's in the Google VR folder under prefabs and we just need to add that to the scene. The next thing that we need to do is select the main camera and add the GVR head script. So we're going to select the main camera and add, uh, we could just type head and we should find the GVR head script. Well, in order to move the main camera, it needs to be a child of another game object. So I'm going to make another game object called player and we're going to give it the tag player and I'm going to make the main camera a child of that and make sure it's at 0, 0, 0. So we have our player object. If I want him off the floor, I can move him up to uh, uh, 2 meters off of the ground so the head's in, in the correct position. Uh, so we have that set up. Let's go back to the documentation. So we've added the uh, GVR head script. We need to select a build Gear VR or build Google VR. And so if I say build Google, uh, let's see, VR build settings, build Gear VR. Now I'm ready to build for Gear VR and VR build settings, build Google VR. Now it's ready to build for Google VR. I could do a uh, build and run and it would work. Now to get input working in this scene, we would want to add a physics ray caster to the uh, main camera and then we would also want to get a go into the UI prefabs folder add the GVR rectangle to the child of the main camera and then we also need to click to create a UI event system and add the gaze input module then move it up above the standalone input module. So now that we have the event system, the the GVR dot prefab, the camera has the, the physics ray caster, we could go ahead and add um, objects to the scene and give them event triggers to make them interactive objects that uh, respond to the gaze input system. Now this is all set up of course in the demos so if I go to the main menu we could see that uh, this is already set up and if I hit play right now it's it's uh, set for Google VR. If I go to Gear VR it's going to be in full screen mode because Gear VR uses the full screen camera but if you go back to the Google VR that it'll use the uh, Google VR split screen camera. Now I have another brand new project. Let's look at doing the same exact thing for Google VR 1.20 and we get the same message please import the Google VR SDK. So here's the Google VR 1.20 Unity package and it would be the same for Google VR 1.10 it's just 1.10 had a lot of uh, bugs and errors in it so I don't know how many people are using it this 1.20 is pretty stable so we got the Google VR we don't need to use the iOS or the x86 now importing with 1.20 I did not get a pop-up automatically saying that I need to have the backwards compa compatibility unity package but I do have the same warning that the build target is not Android so we'll go ahead and switch to the platform and and actually I think this is when we get the uh, pop-up that we need the backwards compatibility there it is so for some reason uh, for some reason that pop-up is delayed or you could just 
import this Unity package manually, but you definitely want to import that since we're not using a native version of Unity that has the Google Cardboard built in. And again, while I'm on this screen, I'm going to go ahead and go to the uh, Google VR Gear VR folder to the 120 folder now and we want main menu as the scene 0 and scene level 1 is 1 level 2 is 2 and of course set up the same uh, player settings And to set up a basic scene here, it's it's a little bit different. We're going to add a uh, game object called player. That's at 000. The, the main camera's a child, and it's at 000. So we'll move the player up to two. So it's at a head position. You still have to add the Google VR prefab, GVR viewer main, and the main camera needs a raycaster on it but this time it's a GVR pointer physics raycaster and we need to add the head script to the main camera and the other uh, prefab we need here is in the UI folder it's the GVR reticle pointer we're gonna add that to the main cameras as a child and instead of adding a UI event system this way, we're just going to add the prefab from here, GVR event system, because now it uses two scripts, the GVR pointer manager and the GVR pointer input module. So this script has been renamed from gaze input module to GVR pointer input module. And now once again, we are ready to add a cube. And if we were to give it a event trigger, we would be able to interact with it with the gaze input system and we can change the gear VR and then we could say build and run it's going to build and run for the gear VR and if we say VR build settings build Google VR it's going to build for Google VR and work for Google Cardboard devices. So for the demo for 1.2, you just go to the demo GVR 1.2 folder and open up the main menu. Here it has the uh, the main menu where you can go to level one, and you can go into uh, level two, of course, and right back into the main menu. So there's a demo of how to set up everything that we just set up. So in the next videos, there's uh, there's four videos total. This is the first one that, that you just watched. There's also a video for multi-scene setup, and that is if you have a GVR viewer main and a player camera in every single scene. Now you could... It's, it may be better to use additive scenes and just have one GVR view remain and one uh, player and load all the levels additively. But if you're using multi, uh, one, uh, one of these in every single scene, there's some extra steps you have to take, so we have a quick video on that. There's also a quick video on how to correct the gaze input for the Gear VR, because you'll notice when you build for Gear VR, you can't click on the buttons depending on which gaze input system you're using so there's a video showing how to correct that and there's also a quick video showing uh, the the platform dependent compilation uh, which the platform dependent compilation lets you set these custom defines which are actually set automatically and this allows you to write your scripts so that it executes code only on the gear VR or only on Google VR so check those other quick tutorials out 
Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.